this guy is gonna leave it at all. This evening I'm gonna do a walk around the, uh, the Adams International Airport, which is probably this is the airport. We're going to pour off entry by here, here in Barbados. <coughs> I'm now walking up Coverley Road and this is the ABC Highway. First of all, this is the original road. This was the original route to the airport. Long before there was any ABC Highway. Looking back on the Coverley Road. And this is the oil tank for the Barbados National Oil Company. Over here. And this road will lead you back to the DHL. Runway for the airport, and you can see that this is the south coast of Long Beach, Chancery Lane, and Silver Sands. So, again, I'm in the parish of Christchurch, which is the southernmost parish here in Barbados. And behind here is the ABC Highway, which is the modern day route to the airport, the fastest route to the airport. This is the long section of the ABC Highway between China and Logan. So the ABC Highway is the fastest route to the airport. No? Saint. There's not much traffic on the way coming up. The ABC Highway was the invention of the second Prime Minister, Tom Adams. He started the highway in the mid, early to mid 80s and it was completed by 1989. Tom Adams, it was Tom Adams' vision. He wanted the highway to be He wanted the highway to be built so that motorists can have easy access to the airport and the industrial estates across the island that instead of having to go the long haul route which is the south coast and come up that road which is much longer so Tom Adams invented the highway but sadly he did not live to see the highway finish because he died four years before the completion of the highway. Tom Adams died in 1985 and the highway was completed by 1989. The highway started in stages. It started from the Grantley Adams Airport To Newton Industrial Estate and then from Newton Industrial Estate to Rendezvous and then from Rendezvous to Warrens and then from Warrens to University of the West Indies at KFA campus. And you can also access the airport. I mean, you can also access the ABC Highway from here as well, mostly on foot behind this house here. This is the Charnock section of the ABC Highway. So the ABC Highway literally runs from south to west. South it will be this area here, the Quite Church area. And the western section will be like University, Warren's University going on that side. Warren's is also a part of the ABC Highway. 
Tom Adams had a vision for the Warrens area. Because, as I said before, the Warrens area was mainly sugarcane and plantation. But in the 80s, Tom Adams made provision for the ABC Highway and it ran through Warrens. This is the um, Seabell Industrial Estate where you'll come across a part of the Barbados Agricultural Management Development Corporation. The, the, management, the Barbados Management Development Corporation is down here. The BADMC will come across the food shop, the farm shop, sorry. So the airport is just up the road from here. The Grandly Adams International Airport, and again, that is Barbados' only port of entry by air. So, yes, guys, the ABC Highway is where that van and car is coming down from. That will be the route to join the ABC Highway. China section. Yes, because the ABC Highway will be starting from here, up here, through here. And this way will be to the Seawell Industrial Estate and where the old airport used to be before it moved to this present location. The thing about this airport, our airport, our airport was originally Sewell when she was through here. I look back at the ABC Highway and the Wall Road. So the lower road, which is the road I was just walking on, Coverly Road, it is referred to as the Wall Road or the Lower Road. It is referred to as the Wall Road because as I said before, it was the old route to the airport. Long before there was any ABC highway, that was the route that you had to use to get to the airport if you were coming from Bridgetown. Unless you go through the back roads like Boarded Hall and Yorkshire and come through Charnock. Other than that, you will come up the course road where the Samurai's Castle bus or the airport bus, the route that that would take. So this is all the Seawell Industrial Estate. And you can see the generators for the bar Barbados Leaden Power. This is the Seawell Generator Station. The Barbados Leaden Power is our only source of electricity here in Barbados. So we receive power from nowhere else but the Barbados Leaden Power. It was established in 1911. The main station is at Bear Street, below the garrison area. But they have a number of generating stations all across the island, and this is one. The Seawell Generating Station is one of them. Looking back at the old road and the highway. So the highway is much faster. This is the DHL plane now flying out. All here is the Seawell Industrial Estate. Where the old airport used to be. The airport moved from this location in 1976, October of 1976. And it moved to its present location. And it was renamed the Grand Adams International Airport. It was named after one of our national heroes, Sir Grantly Herbert Adams, who was the Prime Minister of the West Indies and Premier of Barbados. And he was the father of Tom Adams, who was Barbados' second Prime Minister. Grantly Adams was born in 1898 and he died in 1971 at the age of 73. He and his son Tom Adams are all buried in St. Michael's Cathedral Churchyard. And it's richer than Bridgestone, right by the central bank.
two of them are buried buried there. I'm not sure, but I think Tom Adams, I mean, Granley Adams was the founder of the Barbados Labour Party in 1938. I think he was the founder of the Barbados Labour Party. The Barbados Labour Party had its first meeting at the Martineau House, which is at Lower Bay Street, along Kyler Bay, close to the London Bone Towers. They held their first general meeting in there in 1938. That was the year that the Barbados Labour Party was formed. Barbados Labour Party is the ruling party here in Barbados at the present moment. The Barbados Labour Party is the ruling party. Now looking at the, where the old airport used to be, when it was the Seabell Airport. Where this wall is, the old airport was up here first. And you can see this is the old airport where a, which a, where a postal company is now located. And you can see the control tower for the airport in the background as well. So this is the old airport here, when it was Seabell Airport. Now heading back onto the main road. You can even hear the planes in the background. And this is the new airport here, which is the Granny Adams Airport. And our airport offers direct flights to destinations in the Eastern Caribbean, Central America, United States, United Kingdom, Europe, and Canada. Our airport can best be referred as BGI, GAIA, or simply the Granny Adams International Airport. I don't want a your choice to refer to it as any sort. No, approaching the St. Bartholomew's Church. St. Bartholomew's Anglican Church, which was established in 1830. This is the church hall here. St. Bartholomew's Hall. Let's see another plane taking off as well. See the airport in the background. And this is the church hall for St. Bartholomew's. Coming back to Colby Road, on the top of the road, back to the old airport road. And this is St. Bartholomew's Church, St. Bartholomew's Anglican Church, which is situated just outside the airport exit. Back at the old airport road. This is where here we'll take you back to the old Corvally, to Corvally, and back to the south coast where oysters and so on. And this way to the airport, the Granny Adams International Airport. Yeah, 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 yeah. Upcoming the St. Bartholomew's Church, Anglican Church, which was established in 1830. This is the churchyard here.
Don't have it to large the job for it. Unfortunately, you don't think they will allow, allow female in the, on the airport compound. So I'm going to show you guys outside of the airport and around the airport. See the cars on top of the airport over here. And this is the new Star gas station that was open here in 2020, mid-2020. That's good, the new Star gas station, one of the Star GLIA. So the ABC highway starts. Got the soul gas station here. So the ABC highway starts at this roundabout here. Starts here and we'll proceed here. Rest starts here and we'll continue all the way to Warrens, through to the Valley Adam. I mean, through to all the way to the University of the West Indies. This is the Tom Adams on the boat that is sponsored by the, the Bisco, the West Indian Biscuit Company. I will tell Shirley Biscuits. And this is the airport here. Highway starts here, and this is the Saw gas station over here. Barbados is only port of entry for here. Barbados only has one airport because Barbados is a small country. I believe Barbados is the smallest out of all the Caribbean countries. 166 square miles. So I don't think there will be a need for two or three airports. The whole other countries have two airports in each parish. Big white, white weather radar. Sorry. Big white weather radar is over here. At Hopefield. In Christchurch.
Your foot. Adams International Airport. Barbados is only port of entry by year. And after you pass the airport, then you will be entering the parish of St. Philip with Oldbury Woods, Oldbury, and Gemswick, and Rock Hall. You will, you will meet Rock Hall first, with where the squatters live. Lots of squatters. Of all nationalities reside at Rock Hall in St. Philip. The Grand Adam International Airport. Will I be able to go inside the airport and take a video? So I will do outside. You can see the American Airlines now leaving. Barbados is only port of entry right there. Airport entrance now, but this is on the boat here. Where you enter the airport from. Airport entrance now. We're on the boat with the airport entrance. Now straight ahead, we'll be taking back to St. Philip, the parish of St. Philip, and the bar and the Concord. Experience with the Concord jet is no house. It's right next to the airport, right here. And this is Pugs Bar here, a restaurant, up by the airport. Pugs Bar restaurant. Should have been entering the parish of St. Philip. And, we get, and the old gas station was here up until 2020 when they knocked it down and moved further down. So this is Pugs here, Pugs Bar Restaurant. 
and you can see the Crown Quad experience, which is next door. Thank you guys for watching now and have a blessed evening.